Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Amanda Star's Celebrity Perfume Reviews. Today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of Chapter 1, the new perfume from Jennifer Anderson. So this perfume is her sixth perfume and was launched this year, and hopefully is going to be the continuation of a new line. Um, the front of your box looks like this, says Jennifer Anderson Chapter 1, and it has like a... A very metallic-y, foily gold front, and then your sides look like this, and they have kind of this, uh, oh, let's see if we can get my camera to focus on that, like this beachy, and it's kind of raised lines on the side of the box, and then the back you've got the ad of Jennifer, and this is Jennifer Anderson Chapter 1, and then your bottle looks like this this time, completely new design for Jennifer, uh, completely new from any of the, her other ones. It kind of has, like, you could almost say, like, that's the bottom of the original bottle. I, I don't know. Anyway, it's kind of a teardrop shape, and it's a completely new idea and a new fragrance from Jennifer. So this time she wanted to kind of go back to California and kind of pull away from the beach, as I quickly grabbed that. Uh, pulled away from the beach and do something a little bit more cozy. And I call this kind of Jennifer's Sunday day, Sunday fragrance because... That's kind of what it invokes to me. So your top notes are pink pepper, sparkling bergamot, and orange flower water. Middle notes are jasmine mist, sheer tuberose, tahir flower, and Californian grapevine flower. With base notes of tonka bean, skin musk, and teak wood. So they did say that this perfume is kind of her entry into the more solar fragrances that are kind of popular right now. But I definitely don't feel like it follows the same sheer tuberose that you get across like Ralph Lauren's Woman and Gucci Bloom and some of those like more popular solar fragrances that are out right now. But this one, it's definitely more, um, it reminds me of like a knitted cashmere sweater. That's kind of like my like best way to describe it is it invokes this feeling that like a cashmere sweater would you would feel for the cashmere sweater. Like immediately when I smell that, that's what this reminded me of. So you get this kind of opening where you get a little bit of that pink pepper. You get a little bit of the, like, tahir flower water, cause it, or orange flower water. And you can tell that it's supposed to be a little bit more watered because it is a more light floral opening. And the bergamot kind of is there, but it's not super, super noticeable. You definitely get more of the uh, pink pepper and the orange flower than you do anything else. And that just on the top, though. As it starts to dry down, you can definitely smell the sheer tube rose and the jasmine. I definitely feel like those come out very beginning, like those are there. Um, the tear flower is kind of there, not super, super noticeable. That grapevine flower definitely does add a different level to this fragrance that you don't normally smell. It's not really grapey, um, but it does add a more powdery, soft floral to it, um, because it is definitely... It's a more floral fragrance as it, like it is supposed to be following that sheer floral, solar floral kind of realm. But this one's a lot more cozy and has almost that comforting, warm, like late autumn, early winter kind of feel. And it's not so summery as her other ones are. But definitely I feel like this one could be worn year round and like all the time. But it definitely is more like wintry and fall in my opinion. As it starts to dry down, the tonka bean, the skin musk, they're definitely there. The tonka bean, you can definitely notice it's um, more raw vanilla qualities. The base doesn't smell like vanilla, but it definitely has more of a raw, like if you've ever smelled like raw vanilla, it has an edge like that with the bean and the warmth, but it's not super vanilla-y, and I feel like that just kind of warms out the fragrance. Uh, the teak wood does add a woodiness to the base of the fragrance, and I feel like rounds it out perfectly. You can smell almost every single one of the notes in this fragrance. Some of them do get a little bit more lost as the fragrance progresses and develops, but definitely each fragrance does have its moment in this fragrance. Or each note has its moment in this fragrance. Anyway, um, you can get chapter one at Kohl's. You can, I got the, uh, this like the normal 1.7 ounce, but there's also a gift set with it being the holiday season that comes with I believe this is a 1.7 ounce bottle, um, a 5 ounce home and body mist. So this is a little bit different than like your traditional like body mist. Like you've got, like I know that they've done it with 
almost all of Jennifer's fragrances so far that I've done the beat the the hair mist or body mist with. This one's a little bit different because it is a body mist, like it is supposed to, you know, spray it on your body. But it has an, a separate quality to it, so you could spray it at home and it would linger in the air a little bit longer. Um, which I really, really like that about this, and it doesn't really irritate your skin or do anything weird. There is a roller ball that I got with this that I don't know if I brought down or not. I don't think I did. Um, but there's a roller ball that comes with, I think that I guess that was like 40 bucks, but Kohl's always does their sales. So, um, I really, really like this fragrance. It's not my favorite from Jennifer because I feel like, um, Jay or, uh, Lux will always hold that to me. I like those kind of deeper, warmer vanillas. This one's a little bit more floral. A little bit more sunshiny, but also still kind of warm and cozy at the same time. So I really like that about this one. Um, like I said, definitely more fall and winter, but still could be a daytime, every day, throughout the year type of scent. So there you guys go. There is my review of Jennifer Aniston's Chapter 1. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, Ada S. Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.